Hello, bonjour, guten tag, buenos dias, dobri den, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica Mee, and today's fluid art tutorial will be inspired by beautiful porcelain. I have been fascinated by porcelain since my childhood. My granny used to have these beautiful porcelain plates displayed in her living room, and I always admired them. And I also love Japanese technique, which is called kintsugi. Is rejoining cracks with gold. So I would like to incorporate these two techniques together, porcelain and kintsugi, and create a beautiful acrylic pour. This is all I need. Pouring medium, acrylic color and silicone oil. I mixed my own pouring medium from PVA glue. I mixed 50% of glue and 50% of distilled water. And I'm using Lucas Cross Studio acrylics, which I buy in local art shop. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna cover the bottom part of my yogurt cup here with acrylic color. I need quite a lot because I will have big canvas. And I'm gonna mix it in ratio, one part of acrylics and two parts of pouring medium. Let's cover it. Mix it up very well. Now I'm gonna add two drops of silicone oil in my paint. One, two, or three. Mix it up. And it's prepared. Okay, so sorry about the mess. I have already tried swipe, but that didn't work the way I wanted. So I scraped off the colors and I will try to do a flip cup, which might create a better porcelain pattern. So I've got my cup here, which is half a liter, and I will fill it with paint. I'm gonna start with white, and I also mixed a veil of blue color, which will hopefully add more contrast into my porcelain pattern. So let's pour white in there, half of white in there. Then I'm gonna pour this veil of blue, half of it. Then my cobalt blue. white, the rest of my dark veil of blue, and also the rest of white. So let's try to do a flip cut because this canvas is quite big. I'm just gonna flip it on it and see what happens. And let's see. Nice, now I'm gonna tilt it everywhere. This is just cheap heat gun from Lidl. It was 10 euros and the heat helps to pop cells. Perfect, that's what I hoped for, some amazing contrast between white and blue color. And I think some of these cells will grow into bigger cells and create a nicer pattern because when there's space between cells and they've got some space, they grow into bigger cells. I'm gonna show you a little detail because, oh my God, these are absolutely gorgeous, amazing for a porcelain pattern. I can't wait for this to get dry 
So then I can show you what to do next with these cell transformations. So I'm gonna let it dry for at least a week. It needs to be completely dry before I start embellishing it with some gold details. The paint is dry and I love these patterns. The middle part will be porcelain pattern. So I'm gonna draw a circle and these parts will be covered with white. So I made this circle and I'm gonna draw a line with my whiteboard marker. Perfect, so let's cover this with white acrylic. I also decided to use structure paste on my white background. It looks like this. And I'm gonna use my palette knife for spreading it around my white background. When that's done, I'm gonna do this white and blue line around my circle. And now it's time to highlight these cells with my Mixtion Relief Glue, which I bought in local art shop. You have to search online and it's easy. You just go around the shapes like this. And I'm going to do it on all over the nice cell shapes. And it takes about one day till the glue gets dry and then I will put golden sheet on the top of my dry glue. So let's do that. Glue is dry, it's see-through. So now I'm gonna use this embossing golden sheet and put it on the top of my glue. I'm gonna use my fingers and push a little bit, a little bit more. And then I lift it up and the glue sticks to the golden foil. Look at that, beautiful. That created such a gorgeous effect. So I'm gonna do it all over my porcelain pattern and show you the finished result. I'm also going to highlight in some cells with acrylic marker. And last thing which I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour this clear varnish on the top of my painting and spread it everywhere. So it's protected from dust and sunlight. So I just pour it on like this and spread it everywhere. And this is the result of my porcelain fluid art painting. And I love the result. I love how amazing it looks with all the golden details. So I hope this tutorial was inspirational for you. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you did, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group, create with me and show us your beautiful art. I also have got Instagram page, Me Paintings, where you can see all of my artwork. And this is how it looks in the corner of my art studio. So you know how it looks on the wall. Just love the shine. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you lots of success with your art projects. Can't wait to see you again. Bye!